couldn't pay in the virtual. I'm just wondering, Tim, um, what from a fan stuff from another somebody in Singapore? And you can use your new AD pillow paper. Very good. Brothers and sisters. There are beautiful verses in the letter of Paul to the Romans, appropriate to the day as Tim and Rachel offer their love before the Lord. The text says, Base your happiness on your hope in Christ. When trials come, endure them patiently, and steadfastly attain the habit of prayer. Let's go through these short verses to remind us of the holiness in the love in which marriage binds Tim and Rachel. First, base your happiness on your hope in Christ. Here lies the secret of a happy marriage. A hope cannot be built with solidarity, with peace or serenity, and happiness on any foundation other than that which is made in Christ. Every couple entering the bonds of holy marriage cherishes the hope of a happy married life. But on every hand we observe, in the midst of the complexities of our world, the life of innumerable and happy and broken homes. Homes resting upon improper foundations and largely homes filled and false standards of family life. But the hope which the husband loves his wife as Christ loves his church for which Jesus gave himself for it, and which the wife likewise loves and cherishes her name, is as an anchor of hope that ensures continuing happiness. Tim and Rachel, as you now enter this holy state of marriage, be sure to base your happiness on your hope in Jesus Christ. Second, when trials come in family life, when trials come in every relationship, when trials come in every home, endure them patiently. Although by reason of our weaknesses and sins, many a cross is laid thereon, nevertheless our loving Father does not forsake his children in an estate of holy and acceptable to him. However, the severe the trials, however heavy the burdens to be borne in building and sustaining a home and a family through sickness, suffering, and sorrow, as well as through the days of prosperity, peace, and pleasure, patient endurance with faith, firmly fixed on Christ to suffer for us, they always find a way to meet life's demands. Christ, in the present scriptures, teaches us how to face hardships and adversity, as also how faithfully to receive the measures of His love and grace. Saint and Rachel, when your trials come, endure them patiently. Third, maintain the habit of prayer. Personal and family devotions faithfully follow day by day open wide the gates of grace and permit the blessings of heaven to flow freely upon a whole the family which has the habit of prayer. Remember this, that families that pray together stay together. This formula will ensure you take a virtual process for many other marriages. As for many other couples, who we'll have a very happy and blessed marriage again. Hope in Christ, patient endurance of your trials, and the habit of prayer. May the Lord God bless abundantly your lives together, now and forever.
hope you guys like it. Please do share, comments, and subscribe. Thank you and bye bye. See you in my next vlog. Mwah.